GM, GM fam, we are live with your host, Phil X Contreras, where we talk about NFTs, specifically in Solana, and what's going down today. There's some things to talk about, the Klanos, Oogies, and Mad Labs. And I really want to get started with Mad Labs. Keep in mind, we go live on our Valley Vice podcast Tuesdays and Thursdays. So tomorrow, check it out with the boys. We're going to be talking a lot more. This is just my Monday, Wednesday, Friday get together on my own and what's going on. All right. So here we go. We got Mad Labs right now doing their thing. They dropped this nice looking art right here. I mean, I am digging what they have. And if you don't know what Mad Labs is, uh, let's briefly go through it. Okay, so uh, to start this off, XNFT Backpack. So Mad Labs is created by XNFT Backpack. What is XNFT Backpack? XNFT Backpack is basically like a wallet, but bigger than a wallet. It's a backpack. <laughs> I said backpack so many times. But so you have within this wallet, like let's just say Phantom Wallet, you know, XNFT Backpack has apps inside which is on another level i mean you could say it's like third generation wallet you had metamask which was like the lowdown with cryptocurrency you had phantom which had nfts and it had cryptocurrency now you have x nft backpack where backpack actually has the crypto the the um the nfts and the apps where you can basically download apps within the wallet and do all sorts of gems so even listen to, listening to music within your wallet so that is basically what it is and there's a lot of stuff um, behind the scenes as well like you know the software they have coral um it, it's like an iphone wallet if i guess that's like a maybe that's a better analogy right there so they have been doing that for a while and then now they are coming out with uh, this project called Mad Lads. And it, well, actually, I wouldn't even say it's like a project because the project is actually like X NFT backpack. Mad Lads is an NFT art with this backpack. So it's almost like they created the product. Now they're just doing this nice art. And this art is dope. They can just concentrate on this, making it all cool and fancy. What's up, Zircon? What's going on, GM, GM? And by the way, Zircon brought this up yesterday on value vibes so that's why we're going through this today because i decided that this is actually really cool to talk about on where they are and how far have they gone all right so mad lads what's going on here check it out i mean this is probably i would actually rock this as my pfp the way this looks the way she just kind of looks to the right but then looks to the left of the eyes and just gives this smirk is something that i completely completely like as far as art uh, i just i really like the the green eyes that just like pop out of this figure like this almost like a 1950s type of um woman cultural art and it's got this nice vibe around it i mean it's just ultimately just really nice i enjoy it you got this other one right here just looking up to the left as well not a cool art they really just threw us out. You got Ivanko. He's basically one of the main guys in Solana. You got this one right here as well. I mean, I would say this is actually <sighs> Lily. Always, but it was like my number one project, NFT project, as far as like um, having females on the PFP. But this one, man, this one is really putting Lily as a challenge because these. These women, man, they just look extremely cool, man. But that is basically what's going on right now with Mad Lads and why I am excited on what's about to come out. This art is just amazing. I would definitely have more than one if I could, but we will see more on what they're going to come out. This guy overall is just um, <laughs> the skull, the fire. Cool. Cool stuff, man. And just look at the freaking likes, man. 2,000 likes. 400 comments and the retreats are insane these guys are on another level all right so let's go on to the next thing and we're going to be talking about more about clayno all right so they they dropped this next booster pack uh this five vc console bundles by atari code authority this is another 
play right here by Clay Nose. They're getting ready for NFT NYC. It's about to go down. They did very. They, they were very successful in LA. The the viral the videos went viral on Twitter. I mean, you had these big players on Solana pulling out their cards. It was retweets after retweets. If the magic works, why not do it again? And they are doing it again. And it looks like they're even leveling up with another, but just just another layer of what the booster packs were in LA. They're just dropping gem after gem. Atari before it was Saga. They also announced Saga as as bar, being part of uh, this uh, booster pack. So this is going to be quite, quite um, interesting to watch in NFT NYC and how people are going to take this. You have this one as well. Five free drops, ZTX official, and that again we will see how how this is gonna come out as far as like the Twitter variety on these booster packs. All right, so Bunchel also just did his own thing with the Lily NFT and Lotus Gang. He dropped a video, and this video actually pretty it went viral. I mean, I'm a, I'm a muted right now, but the way that he created this was quite funny. I I liked it. You know, they had you had these two girls basically talking about the project, what it is, and they basically said, you know, it's a library where you can actually find your sources there and learn. You have trading, you can create, win, and just community overall behind these two projects. So he explained it in a video format to where you know it, it caught attention and it was comedic. And overall, just a good time. And you can see how many views there have been. There's 53,000 views here, 29 bookmarks, and 260 retweets. I would say that is successful overall for this project. Now, as far as like, you know, if, if, if I like to be part of the project, yeah, I mean, I would. But um, I feel like uh, just overall, this whole Pro, this new Lily NFT. Um, the reason why I like it is because the art is literally different from every other art project that I've seen. Just the way they've drawn it, the shades. I enjoy the shades. I do. I like the way it was drawn. It's completely different. The way they have these female NFTs behind it as well. That you know, people, um, girls can rock on Twitter. You already seen Amy actually rock hers. It's just it's just a little bit different. I do like it, and you know it was cool just to watch that. Now another project that I definitely want to talk about is oh, we got we actually got okay this one right here, Oogie NFT man. Something went down yesterday. So Oogie basically you know we we heard about what happened like the past three days, but I don't know if this was intentional, man. I think this happened by accident. And but when things happen by accident, it starts becoming uh, a community thing. Like you had like, you know, shoeys. It, it, it happened randomly. Someone basically maybe it was maybe it was, was purposeful. But look at this pink squares. I mean, you could just tell the community is behind this project. <laughs> you get the Pope. <laughs> but dude, man, just just check this out. Like I'm, I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and I'm getting tired. And it just seems like, like, you know, it started off with just this one picture right here, headed to Oasis, and then it started evolving like the telephone game, right? You know, the, these people started treating this, and then this one dude just decided to put this square. The pink wave is coming, and then boom, it just started happening. Everyone started lowering it down, lowering it down, putting it on Twitter, and just boom, 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 boom nonstop. So that is a sign of community. Real community is no bots. This is the real deal. People are excited. People want to see the reveal. People are part of this project. It's no joke, man. It kind of reminds me of the gods when they first started and they started building out the community. There's a community behind this, uh, and I'm truly digging it. Now, for me, I'm a person who doesn't have this um, NFT. And my only play right now is really after reveal, hoping that I could get into into it. So we'll, we'll see how that plays out. But besides me, ignore me, <laughs> what I'm doing. Just overall, this you, I just wanted to sh share with you guys on how community is definitely in this project. 
this is foolproof, man. Foolproof on uh, on this whole thing, man. You you can't you can't replicate that. So boom, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so we have Gucci now. They basically just came out with this announcement, basically saying that they're gonna launch. Not really, you know, it's it's a combination with Auto Side Relics launching on April sixth. Uh, project is a limited edition Gucci branded Coda pendants. Only 3,333 digital pendants available. To buy a digital pendant, eligible players must complete a series of tasks. Boom. And this is it right here. I mean, overall, I just never would have thought Gucci would get involved in NFTs. But then again, it kind of seems like it, it does fit the boat. You got fashion, you got brand, you got digitization, you got a collection, you got rarity. That's what Gucci is all about. It's just they're getting they're getting into the digital space. They're starting to understand that this is really what they are. Their fashion, their 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 limited supply and demand of Gucci products out there, and it really does fit. But I don't know about the whole base and Gucci thing. I, I found it quite um, odd, to be honest. I would see more like a like a Gucci maybe um, Utes vibe, uh, or maybe Gucci. Um, X, uh, let's see. Um, not invisible friends, maybe. Um, doodles, I would see Gucci and doodles overall together more than bass. I just, I just don't really feel the bass vibes, if you know what I'm saying. GM ASAP Rush, what's going on, man? Much love, but I mean, overall, it's just exciting to see this kind of stuff. I mean, talk, ignoring the micro stuff on what I think about the relationship. On the macro, it's great to see big brands getting together with notable NFT projects on Ethereum or Solana or Polygon. Base, basically, just this is like a domino effect for what is to come with other brands and other projects out there in this industry. All right, so um, other than that, I mean, we also have some other things to talk about. Let me just bring it up real quick. All right, so going to my other screen, I am going to share this uh, this watch list right here. Shaboom, shabam. All right, so we have right now Soul Casino kind of, you know, in, in, in the downtrend. But, man, Utes is kind of up there at 220. That, to me, is kind of insane that they're still holding their ground. Um, I, it should actually not even be on this list since they're on Polygon right now, but maybe, maybe it finally did stop or it's going to stop at some point. Um, the main thing that's just, you know, really just catching my eyes is Klano. They've, they've just been, uh, on a shred, man. These guys went all the way up to a hundred Solana. I mean, let me, let me try to find it right now. If I could find it, where are those Klanos, man? All I got to do is look, is look for the big number. Boom, 92. Uh, just, just the way it has gone up is in such a short time frame. I, I, I actually talked to Zircon about this, and we were kind of debating on how, on how fast Klanos would get to 100. And I, I said next year, uh, Zircon said this year. Zircon was right. I was, uh, I was wrong. I did not know it was going to happen this quick. But, yeah, it happened. And crazy enough, they're actually pretty close to Tyler Robotics, which is at 133 right now. But um, I, I I I can't wait to see what NFT NYC brings out. It's gonna be a lot of lot of crazy stuff. Not just Klanos, but OK Bears. You have their thing happening in NFT NYC. You have uh you have the guys doing their thing on Ethereum or or Bitcoin or whatnot. They're going to maybe do some airdrop. You have, uh, what else? Oogie's about to head there. Although Oogie's kind of a small, you know, they're still coming up. Uh, it'll be interesting to watch them, you know, finally get their first, you know, community vibes over there. But yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a, a wild ride there. We'll see how the whole NFT space plays out after that event. It's like the Grammys, man. But uh, we also have the Lily that kind of did its thing after that viral video, but then it's just, uh, it looks like it just started going a little, uh, yeah, it started, started going up a little bit. So, um, and I, I really do think it's because of that video and overall you have subbers. Um, they're kind of, they're kind of stable. I mean, these guys, they're, they're building out this, this project called freaks on Ethereum. 
they're trying to do a multi-chain platform. And what they basically do is they have these collabs and giveaways and allow lists, which has worked tremendously. These guys have dominated Solana on, on this niche right here. And it's so easy to use. I enjoy it. I use it all the time. And seeing them going on, on Ethereum, I think they have it down. I think if they can get the biggest blockchain of NFTs in, they are set. And then they're going to go probably after Polygon and then maybe Bitcoin a little bit. And then they're probably, and, and who knows, they might be the biggest uh, um, pre-mint allow list collab giveaway software out there. So we'll see how that plays out as, as well. Um, but those are basically the, the main projects right now that are just, you know, kind of just catching my eye. We have Oogie Pods as well. Where are those Oogie Pods? Right here at 26 right now. I mean, it's it's still holding its ground. I'm I'm interesting to watch how this thing is gonna do at post reveal. And but you know, again, you have post reveal, you have NFT NYC, you got so many things around this project. Who knows where this is going? But um the, the one thing I do know is that the community is starting to build. It's not like it's built. Um uh, if it's built right now at such a fast pace, then you know more than likely. Uh, it's probably not real, but you could tell this is real because it's just it's just slowly happening. It's moving. People are getting into it. People are being you know groomed within it, and uh, it takes time. It takes time to build a nice community, and you don't want to rush it either. And it's not like they're trying to rush it. They're 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 watching it kind of just build on its own organically. Or organically is the main word. So, um. With that, we'll see how that plays out with um, this project uh, in a week or so. We'll find out if I'm if I if I'm a part of Oogies too. So we'll see how that plays out. So overall, that is what's going on, Svet. What's happening, man? If you guys have any questions, let you know. Just drop it down. I'll be happy to answer it. But overall, I mean, that is mostly on everything that I've pretty much just covered and talked about. Uh, Ethereum. I mean, not Ethereum. What's that called? Uh, experiments is another project i'm just kind of interested at uh to see where that goes um it has gone in a huge downtrend jersey has been quiet for some time but uh, i'm slowly just observing on, on how that plays out but those are the main projects um not that much uh going on today but overall i think uh we pretty much handled that everything make sure you join uh, our discord below on what we're going to talk about tomorrow tomorrow's going to be a big day where we're going to talk about some interesting projects and also make sure you mint that like button, that subscribe button keeps me going with this show and much love and peace.